So trance is an altered state of receptivity where mm -hmm. one opens their unconscious mind to receiving. And there are many um, portals to receive from when we're working hypnotically. Yeah. The primary portal is what I refer to as the creative unconscious. And that can best be uh, referenced and articulated through the seminal work of Dr. Carl Jung, uh, the Jungian uh, psychoanalyst, who believed that we had a conscious mind, a preconscious, an unconscious, meaning personal unconscious, and a collective unconscious. And so with hypnosis and trance, our task is to engage the attention in the awareness of the client to shift and to drift from ordinary waking consciousness into a state of pure receptivity so that they can become receptive to their own personal unconscious and then second to the collective unconscious. And of course, when we're talking about the collective unconscious, it means that it's, it's vaster and it's um, more spacious and it has more of an infinite uh, realm of possibilities for information, for knowledge, for transformation, and for mind body healing therapies. And so when I'm working, I oftentimes start with that, well, how is the best way to begin to talk to a client about going into a trance? And oftentimes I'll say, trance is a process of learning to be together and alone with yourself in a variety of ways as you experience yourself shifting and drifting and tumbling down slowly into the middle of nowhere. So oh, that's shifting. so beautiful. <laughs> so shifting and drifting. And as you're listening to me, some of you may want to stay in your conscious mind while others of you may have already begun to naturally and organically transition by shifting and drifting and tumbling down slowly into the middle of no where. And when you harness something that um, a person's has a certain skill state or a certain mastery over, you can um, borrow from that as, as a resource to build a new bridge into an area perhaps where they lack confidence or they lack capability or they lack knowledge, is you draw and borrow from the knowledge base over here, mm -hmm. and like a gardener taking, uh, cutting, some parts of a plant and retransplanting them in another part yeah. of the garden over there. And thinking that, of course, the metaphor of the unconscious is, is that the mind is really a garden. Yes. And as a hypnotherapist, I'm a gardener. And a good gardener pays reverence to where <laughs> the plants in the garden are thriving. Mm -hmm. And paying attention to well, why are they thriving over there? Is mm -hmm. it the sun? Is it the water? Is it the fertilizer? Is mm -hmm. it type of soil? And boring from that and bringing more of those elements in the unconscious, the garden, to this part of the garden where there's perhaps more weakness or sickness 
injury, trauma, illness, and then strengthening. Wasn't that absolutely fantastic? I'm sure that you found a lot of information in this very short video you just saw, maybe like four or five, six minutes, however long it was. But that is not all. You can have access to the entire presentation of this amazing speaker, plus 40 more other presentations and speakers. And you can have access for life. You can have access to the video recording, to the audio recording, to the swipe files, to the transcripts, to all of the bonuses and special gifts that all of the speakers and presenters and also the organizers are offering in the premium pass package. So if you like this, if you want more, make sure to sign up below for the premium pass and have lifetime access to everything. I'm sure it'll be one of the best investments you've ever made in your life, in yourself, in your practice, in your health, and also with working with clients. So go ahead, click on the button below, sign up for the premium pass, and we'll see you on the other side.